Hello, everybody, and welcome to race number nine of season three NASCAR Walmart Cup Series. I am Levi McIntyre, a.k.a. Thrash Maniac 99, the voice of NASCAR Walmart Cup Series, here to welcome you to the Aaron's 499 at Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama. This is going to be an exciting race, over two and a half miles of, flat, of fast restrictor play racing and pack racing to the prime and I'm joined by two special guest commentators who are two good friends of mine from the YWC, but they are here today to commentate Talladega with me. Please welcome David Rivera and Chase Oliver. How are you doing, guys? Doing great. Doing great as well, man. Indeed. So with Talladega, this is 2.66 miles around, so it takes about 50 seconds to go through a full lap at full speed up here. And also, when they're all not breaking at all, they're going to all be bunched together, and the main concern for these drivers is getting caught in the big row, in the big wreck, where if one car spins, then you might as well count it as 10 cars getting in there. It depends on the situation. We could see a lot of bad wrecks here today, and it wouldn't be the first time that we've seen stuff like that happen here at Taudeg or really any play track we go to. But ladies and gentlemen, here's a look at your starting lineup for the Aaron's 499 at Talladega. Imagine the dreams of a 13-year-old Looking up at the sky, wondering how the world can be so cold This kid wasn't sold, it would be like this At night time, wishes to be safe from this abyss Cause this shit is something that can be dismissed A boy born as a girl who is going through the stress He's got a shotgun up, I can't play for the team His school won't let them even know it's his dream Now he's sitting in bed with a loaded gun Thinking about blowing his brains out to kingdom come Cause he's been bullied and teased all his life Almost killed himself two years ago But sitting his wrist with a knife I wonder if he sees the things I see for him Ten years down the line speaking at the forum A college graduate up at the top of his class The first trans NFL player up in the draft Well there's a look at your starting lineup Rookie Biggie Spencer and Trent Dunham On the pole here today For the for Aaron's 499 they are getting ready to go racing, and they're just now getting up to speed. Here, ladies and gentlemen, boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys and girls. Already, drivers are going all over the place trying to find a line to run. We're already seeing some three-wide racing going on, which is interesting. Yeah, they didn't waste any time in that one. I already see also four-wide back there. I think I saw... Checo Knight, yeah, he was up there, up at the dangerous high line. We're all but... bunched up right now. This big dangerous here. Yeah, I'm Drops, scared already. Right now, especially on the right side, they need to watch out here. They can't be, can't be get, getting too hasty here. Battle yeah, for hold on to your seats. Seat. And PJ Williams, who won this race last season, and also won at M and M's, he definitely knows how to get it done on the restrictor play tracks, and it looks like he is going to lead lap number one. Now, the thing with Talladega is you can go three wide, four wide, and make it work. It's just you can't lean on each other. Otherwise, problems will happen. And since we're still green, I wanted to ask you, gentlemen, who do you guys think is an interesting pick for to win this race? We'll start with you, David. Right now, I am still looking at that 27 car that does have the most experience, too, with this race. So, I think as of right now, I might have to put my money on that one at the moment. What about you, Chase? I'm going with Checo now here. I think I think it's time for him to break out. I've been liking how he's been racing as of late, so I'm going with Checo now here. And, and, what's funny, and what's funny, this is coming from the same person 
who won this exact race in the very first inaugural season of Walmart Cup Series. And I remember vividly because that was your second career Walmart Cup Series win, Chase, and you won yes. at this track. Yes, I did, even though I'm racing too, which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, speaking of the 21, let's see where he is. He's towards the back of the field. This is smart strategy for anybody who's running towards the back to try to stay out of trouble mm -hmm. and make sure nothing happens. Oh, the 21, he's getting right into the side of Gabe Williams, but they get off each other. That was a close call on the part of the 21 and the 33. And so far, no cautions. They have been keeping it straight and narrow and going pretty good. And P.J. Williams has just kept his car He's just up controlling this track right now, making sure no one can get the advantage by going on top of him, going down low on those sharp turns. It's the smartest strategy he's doing right now. I wonder how his tires will be able to handle this going forward. He will definitely have to make a pit stop soon enough, but he's making a smart strategy here right now early on in this race. Oh, and I love this camera angle right here where they're just – Zipping past. <laughs> and once again, zipping past. <laughs> oh, and then we got a wreck. Uh -oh. We got a wreck. Somebody just spun. I saw Sonny Hammond get turned. Yeah, last minute. I just. And he saved it. Oh, Anthony McCurry was in there. Anthony McCurry was in there, but I think <laughs> he got some side damage. But other than that, he's able to keep going. Ryan Anderson Jr. was in there. Did we just get away with only a three-car accident? I believe we just And we're did. still green, too. That's no caution. No caution, I guess, because they only spun it out of the track and didn't collect mm -hmm. anybody. NASCAR decided to not throw a caution. Good stuff. Although you see that big smoke cloud up ahead uh. heading into turn three. And now we got a challenge for the lead. Here comes Dylan uh, here Young in the two Miller Lite Retro Ford. And he's going to pass. He's like it. almost just about got it. He, he's that in the lead it. right now. Yeah, now there he is. And now he's, he's up lead. to the lead. So this is the first or the second lead change of the race. PJ's strategy was working very well, but the problem was he cut a little bit too soon trying to cut off everyone else. And exactly. Young pretty much just decided to take the lower end, and he made the right move there. Great move by Young right there. And speaking of uh, these kind of guys, let's take a look and see where our points leader, Chris Washer, is currently running. He's currently in around the back of the pack at 34th. Playing it smart, along with Austin Weiner, Chase Oliver, David Rivera, Eric Burton, and Eric and Rage, who's running at the very end of the pack, this could be strategy in case a caution comes out, if at all, and they don't get caught up in anything. And now we got a new leader, the rookie in the 48 car, Larry Hagan, is now up into the lead. And we're seeing some guys make some strides to the front, as I see coming underneath in that Budweiser car. Look at that, two beers going at it. <laughs> <laughs> Cassandra Renzi, who's a rookie, and then also I see Rue McIntyre and Jack Knight in the Texaco Haviland cars mm -hmm. coming up, up to the there. front. And then right behind Jekko is the Daytona 500 winner from this season, Michael Norman. He's trying to make a stride to get up to the front. See uh, Jessica uh, Shelton. Are driving very aggressively right now. I, I'm liking it. Showing some, showing some heart and intensity out there. Indeed. There's Rue McIntyre who's running the very highest line. Actually, they make that Jekko Knight all the way up there, and now he's going to fall in behind the 28. Even though they're running pretty much the same paint scheme, they're not teammates by any stretch of the means. And look at this, four wide, and they're keeping mm. it going. It's only if you make it five wide, it will get very, very tricky. And oh, there goes the 31. Jekko gets involved. Cody Hagen. Oh, and I see Chase Oliver. Chris Washer, the points leader. Jekko Knight, really. Come on, man. Justin oh. Talampas. David Rivera was in there. Kendall Maynard. Oh, and the car's upside down, and that's the 54 of Jesse King. Yeah, it looks like somebody parallel. And I think Chase Oliver might have went upside down, too. I'm not sure. I saw oh, an Austin Weiner. Tough break for him. After getting screwed over last week at Texas, bad luck continues to run its course for that 22 team. 
Brandon Nichols, his teammate. Bad luck here. Every time, every time I come out to co-commentate, there's always a huge crash, and then there's like a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I'm bad luck. There's Ian Siegel in the 18. Chris Washer, the points leader in his car, is junk. Eric Burton, who won back at California a few weeks back, he's involved. Justin Talampas, who was in there, who won at Texas last week. There's Chase, and I saw another car. Biggie Spencer was in there. And this is all that's left of the field, at least clean-wise. And the leader right now is Zachary Fitzwater in the 47 car. So he somehow got around the two car during that whole mess. But boy, even though we got our first caution, we had a great green flag run going, which was good. But ladies and gentlemen, we got two replays we're going to have to take a look at. We're going to take a look first at the accident involving Sonny Hammond, Anthony McCurry, and Ryan Anderson Jr. that didn't bring out a caution. And then we'll take a look at a replay of what brought the caution out here at Talladega. Well, here's a look at the first incident of the race. There is Sonny Hammond in between Ryan Anderson Jr. and Cody Hagen. Let's see what happens. Oh, the 07 kind of comes up into uh, the 11, but the 11 like, came damn. down. That, that looked dirty right there. And, and then McCurry, the McCurry went into the wall uh, on his driver's side. And Sonny Hammond and Ryan Anderson Jr. didn't get that, any that, damage from that. That, 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 was, that was surprising. That should have been a caution. It should have, but I guess NASCAR thought since they didn't come back up the racetrack and collect anybody and it spun towards the apron, they decided to not throw out the caution. And the only car that got damaged from that was McCreary, but he was able to keep driving. And the 07 and the 51 didn't get any damage, and they managed to save their cars and keep it going, but... That was a look at the first incident. Now we're going to take a look at the replay of what brought the caution out here at Talladega. Well, here's a look at what happens. It looks like the 31 comes down into the 12, and the 31 comes up in the Jekko Knight, Cody Hagen, Ian Siegel, and it was on from there. And there you see the 21, the 34, the 24, the 6. Wow, the 99 oh, kind of pile cool. drove the 6 into mm -hmm. that. And then I saw the 54. Oh, man, the 12 got clobbered by the 22 right there. And I saw the 12 go upside down. Now, let's yeah, see the... Tw on board for that one. Yeah. Oh, and then, oh, the 21, he got hit by the 18, and that's what happened. And that uh, got yeah. him flipping over once. But how did Jesse King get upside down yeah, is the question. He's Good spinning job. out right yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, he gets oh, hit from Biggie yeah. Spencer and then into Cody Hagen. Oh, oh Eric and Rage. Nipples. Eric and Rage just yeah. clobbered the 36 of Biggie Spencer and then got into yep. the 54. Okay. Yeah. And that's what happened to the 54. Oh, my word. Mm. Let's hope the driver's okay. Yeah. We're going to have several looks at this accident. There you see the 18 getting to the 21. And the six kind of finished the job right there, but they keep him back on his wheels. And then there you see the 99. Let's try to figure out how do these cars get into this. As the 99, Michael Walden was way towards the back as the wreck has already begun. Oh, he yeah, I saw he got into the six and then the 55 got into him. But let's see how Austin Weiner gets into this. Yeah, he just hit the 12 after the 99 yeah, got yeah. into him. That was a tough break. The 22 almost got through, but when the 12 came back down the racetrack and the 99 got him, that's how the 22 got in there. Jekko Knight, while he got involved, he managed to drive away. I'd say he's going to be able to continue, but I don't know if he's going to be up to speed. He might, he might mm. not. It depends, on, uh, yeah, it depends on what's going to happen on the restart. Mm. But we're going to have a, quite a bunch of onboards we're going to have to do here. We're going to go on board with the 21, the 31, the 54, the 36, and the 6. On board with Chase Oliver in the 21, who was running towards the back of the pack when this started. There you see the contact. 
And then the 18 came down into him, and that's where it, more of it started. Wow, and there he saw the 36 and the 54 all go spinning. Showing off some street racer skills there. I've heard Chick Oliver was like a very, very famous street racer one time. Uh, he wrestled, he street raced against Dominic Toretto from the Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was a pretty proud of accomplishment for him. Indeed. I'm sure it was. <laughs> On board with David Rivera in the six. And right there you see the contact up ahead. And then right there... Oh yeah, there was no hope for getting out of that. David hit Chase Oliver pretty hard there. <laughs> LeBron I James is not happy I right couldn't now. help it, there was no way to go. LeBron James is oh, not happy. Oh, and there you oh. see the... Told me that, right uh, there, right in front of him was the 21 going upside down. Yeah, that was a fun LeBron. <laughs> on board with the 36 of Biggie Spencer who started on the pole for this race. And this is going to be wild. Oh. oh, and right into the driver's side. Oh. That was a hard hit from the 14 mm -hmm. of Eric and Rage. What a nightmare. On board with Eric and Rage, who was the last car in this pack. There you see the wreck happening up ahead. This is going to be hard. Yeah, oh! oh. Right in the right side, actually, not the driver's side, yeah, but... No time for bracing for impact there. Ouch. Indeed. That was hard. And finally on board with the 54 of Jesse King. Who is right behind the wreck, right there you see the contact. Mm. Right in front of him. Nowhere else to go. Wow, and there oh. you saw the 36 on top of him. And then he barrels about two, three and a half times. And there you see the camera was out due to being upside down. And due to that, he had to teleport to pit road. But that does it for the look at the caution. Let's take you to the restart at Talladega. Well, after that first caution, we have numerous cars out of the race. And they are Justin Talampas, Chris Washer, Ian Siegel, Cody Hagen, Matt McIntyre, Brandon Nichols, Jesse King, Kendall Maynard, Cody Lamas, Chase Oliver, David Rivera, Michael Walton, Eric Burden, Austin Weiner, Biggie Spencer, and Eric Enrage. So now we are down to 26 cars in the field, so... Tough break. Indeed. Really but Zachary Fitzwater is the leader. Second is Jesse Setti. Third is Ryan Anderson Jr., even after getting into that incident earlier. I guess he must have had a fast enough pit stop, and now he's up here in the third spot. Fourth is Larry Hagan. Fifth is Ken Thero. Sixth is Nick Pericles. Seventh is Dylan Young. Eighth is Ian Dutta. Ninth is Gabe Williams. Tenth is Dylan Thero. Eleventh is Rue McIntyre. Twelfth is Alex Hawkins. Thirteenth, Charles Jackson. Fourteenth, Kyle Matthews. 15th, Michael Norman, 16th, Seth Cole, 17th, Jordan Culp, 18th, Alex Pedro, 19th, PJ Williams, 20th, Sonny Hammond, 21st, Cassandra Renzi, 22nd, Jessica Sheldon, 23rd, Anthony McCreary, Jekko Knight's still in it in 24th, and I guess they got the damage repaired, and he's got a clean-looking car now, 25th is Trent Dunham, and running in 26th is Henrietta Fitzwater. So Chase, maybe Jekko Knight still has a chance. Yes, he's still done, which, which I'm happy about. But we'll have Short to see if he's up to speed or not is the question due to getting up into the wall. But we'll find yeah, out here in just a moment. That to be seen. Indeed. But Zachary Fitzwater is going to be your leader here on this restart as he's trying to go for his second career Walmart Cup Series win. He won at Watkins Glen out of road course two seasons ago when he drove I believe the number nine car but here we go green flag is back out with I would say 17 laps to go so we're only a couple laps away from halfway through this race and as I was saying with Jekko Knight let's see if he's up to speed or not and he is 
he is up to speed, so he still has a chance yes. to potentially win this race. That's a very good thing. So that is interesting that he was in that wreck, but manages to get his damage repaired, and he's still up to speed. Meanwhile, Zachary Fitzwater got, gets off to a pretty marginal lead over Ryan Anderson Jr., but here comes the 51 fast on that back bumper of the 47. And look at how this top five is. You got three Chevys, two Fords, or make that four Chevys and one Ford, actually. <laughs> but Zachary Fitzwater leads that lap, and oh, the 78. Wow, I thought he about got into the 51. That could have been big, but look at this. Three wide for the lead, and Ken Thero is going to get to that mm -hmm. lead now. And he's got Nick Pericles pushing him, who has his teammate, Ian Dutta right behind him. Yeah, they're really pushing Look at this. Three, three, the three Roush cars are up here in this lead pack. Pericles, Dutta, and Thero. Three yeah, of the this. five of the Roush cars that are still on track that are left. But let's see. It's three wide for the lead again with Pericles, Dutta, and here comes Charles Jackson in the number 19 Mountain Dew Dodge for Everham Mayonnaise Motorsports. And Ken Thera running the dangerous high line at making it four wide. Mm. But so far, so good with these drivers. Yeah, I hope they can keep it together. Indeed. So, David, now that uh, things have gotten settled out as far as the cars that are left, mm -hmm. both of your guys' picks, PJ Williams and Jekko Knight, are still in this. Are you still going to go with those picks, or has your minds changed? Well, since things, yeah, since things are going still well for them, I think I'm going to go with my pick still. PJ Williams, uh, and funny enough, PJ Williams is pushing his teammate, Cassandra yeah. Renzi, to the lead, so this could be Richard Childress 1-2, mm -hmm. and oh, is he going to make it four wide for oh, the lead? <laughs> oh, Renzi and Jordan Culp got together, but they keep it straight. And now P.J. Williams is now going to try to go to the lead. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jekko Knight, he was last scored in 18th, but he's run, he's the fourth car on the inside line with Seth Cole pushing him. So both cars still up here battling. Oh, man, don't get too aggressive up there, gentlemen. We've yeah, already had one easy, big please. one. We've already had one big one. We don't need two. Wait a minute, oh, cars no. are coming in pit road. I think they may be making mm. pit stops. I see Ryan Anderson Jr. and Jesse Setti in pit road, yep. so this could be a sign that pit stops will end up having to take place. Yeah, exactly, it's about that time now. And Trent Dunham is way off the pace, and so is Henrietta Fitzwater. And meanwhile, we got four wide in the back of the field. Dylan Young, Seth Cole, Jessica Sheldon, Larry Hagan along with Anthony McCurry, and that split up the pack after them two. Seti and Anderson Jr. went into pit road. That separated the pack. Meanwhile, Zachary Fitzwater is going back to the lead now. And now here comes another veteran restrictor play racer who won the Daytona 500 last season. That's Kyle Matthews in the five. And also here comes the winner of Thornton just a few weeks ago, Alex Pedro, who in points is the lowest driver in points. Oh, and we get another crash! Oh, Kyle Matthews gets turned up, Charles Jackson, Damn. Ken Thero. This changes everything in terms of it pitch really strategy. Does. Oh, and Anthony oh, McCurry! Yeah. And Jessica Sheldon got into some. Seth Cole was in there. Larry Hagan was in there too. Dylan Young. My God. There was obviously another incident that took place after. Uh, two different incidents, man. It, was, it wasn't the same one. It was two different ones. Yeah, it was two yeah. different ones. I saw McCurry go upside down. Major damage right in front point. of right in front of the nine and tough break for Jessica Sheldon. Kyle Matthews was in there. Rue McIntyre and PJ Williams are in the very back. They must have gotten separated after the first accident took place. And the leader is now Alex Pedro, even though 
You see Seti and Anderson Jr. I think they're still on the lead lap. But they're going to probably end up restarting right in front of the leaders or depending on the situation, they may be in the tail end of the lead lap. But ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at a replay to see what brought the caution out for the second time today here at Talladega as we've had two different incidents on one lap. Well, here's a look at what happened. There you see a four wide racing going on behind Kyle Matthews. I'm starting to think Ken Thero, oh, Charles Jackson actually came up into the 78 and up into the 5. P.J. Williams actually got a piece of that. Yeah, that sounds like thought he had some room to maybe make, make a little bit of an adjustment. Oh, right, let's but, see what yeah. happens back here. Oh, Seth Cole comes down. Oh, oh. man. Oh, Hard hit wow. into Ken Thero, and then there you see McCurry goes upside down for Another one, one flip. Oh my goodness, the 78 got hit hard mm. by the 52. Let's take a look at this. See how many miles per hour Seth Cole was going. About 175, and he just clobbered the 78. And there you see McCurry and Shelton up there. Let's take a look at this one last time. The 52 and the 2 and the 48 are all trying to slow down. But there you see the 78 coming down and right there. Wow. The ride the 78 took mm, is crazy. Incredible. We're going to have a few onboards we're going to go on this. We're going to go on board with the 19, the 52, the 78, and the 61. On board with Seth Cole, who was running in 18th. And there you see the wreck happening already up ahead. Watch this. This is going to be hard. Uh. And immediately, the motor died right there. On board with Charles Jackson, who was the cause of this caution. Comes up into the 78 and then the 5. And then all hell breaks loose. This is going to be an exciting angle. Oh, oh no. my! Ooh. This one you think you're out of the clear. Not quite. Wow, the 78 looked like the oh. rear end hit the windshield of he the 19. Spin a room, man. <laughs> I bet he did. On board with Anthony McCurry, and there you see the wreck happening up ahead as you can see the smoke. And watch Crazy this. Cells. Oh. Comes back down on all four wheels, but the motor immediately died right there. And now finally a rear end camera angle from the 78 of Ken Thero. There you see the contact. And then up into the wall. Now this is going to be a hard, hard hit. Oh. And I'm surprised that camera somehow survived that accident. But that was a look at what brought the caution out. Let's take you to the restart. What could be the final restart of the race, depending on what's going to happen in these final laps. Well, after that last caution, we have more cars out of the race. So they are Charles Jackson, Ken Thero, Seth Cole, Dylan Young, Anthony McCurry, Larry Hagan, and Jessica Sheldon. So we are now down to 19 cars on the field. 19 left. More than half of the field that is left. Mm. So when we go racing, it's going to be seven laps to go here at Talladega. But Nick Pericles, after a pitch strategy call, he's going to be your leader. Second is Alex Hawkins. Third is Cassandra Renzi. If Renzi can win this race, she might be the new points leader. That could This could be huge for that four car. Fourth is Michael Norman. Fifth, Sonny Hammond. Look at that 07. Gets involved in the first incident of the race, saved it, and he has a chance to potentially get his first Walmart Cup win. Sixth is Rue McIntyre. Seventh is P.J. Williams. Even after getting into that wreck, he appears to have a stabilized car to where he can probably win this race. Eighth is Henrietta Fitzwater, who I know is not up to speed. Ninth is Ryan Anderson Jr. Tenth is Jesse Setti. 
11th is Alex Pedro, 12th is Ian Dutta, 13th is Gabe Williams, 14th Jekko Knight, 15th Jordan Cole, 16th Dylan Thero, 17th Zachary Fitzwater, 18th Trent Dunham, and the last car left in the field is Kyle Matthews. This is going to be an interesting final seven laps with only 19 cars, but about 16 of them are up to speed. So only 16 drivers, I think, are going to have a chance to win this race. And both PJ and Jekko are somehow, some way, still in this. Especially Jekko from the oh, yeah. crash earlier, the second crash or the first crash. I can't remember which crash it was, but he wasn't one of them. Yeah. But here we go. We're getting ready to go green. Green flag is out. Seven to go here at Talladega. And Nick Pericles didn't get off to a very good jump. Alex Hawkins had a better jump, but he's stuck up on the high line, so now he's about to get bypassed by Cassandra Renzi in the four. And now here comes Renzi to the lead, who has Michael Norman pushing her. And now here comes Rue McIntyre and Sonny Hammond to potentially make some noise. That's Renzi. something that I've been liking so far, and I'm actually keeping my eye on that car as well. The four car of Renzi? The actually number seven car. Oh, the 07, 07 of uh, yes, Sonny sir. Hammond and the Jack Daniels <laughs> Chevy for Richard Childress Racing. And P.J. Williams is coming in the pit road. I think his chances are over. He must yeah. have gotten some damage on the side from that wreck, so they have to come down to repair yeah. So P.J. Williams will not go two seasons yeah. in a row winning this race. Yeah, Tough break. And wait a minute, Ian Dutta oh, no, in another yeah. crash. Fine. Ian yeah. Dutta gets wrecked. Yeah, dude, I'm bad luck. <laughs> Ian Dutta got turned, and he hit the roof of his car into the wall. That would be so fast. Jordan Culp, Alex Hawkins, Gabe Williams were all in there. This could be a saving grace for P.J. Williams potentially. As he just completed his pit stop, and he's clearly ahead of the leader, so this could have been a saving grace for P.J. Williams. It looks like it, yeah. And we somehow only had four cars in that accident. Somehow mm. only four cars, and Rue McIntyre is now the leader, as he has been on a mission to get his first Walmart Cup win after... The last two races finishing in the top five. Back at uh, Thornton, he finished third. Last week at Texas, he dominated, but due to an untimely caution, he finished mm -hmm. fifth. But he could have a chance to redeem himself if he can win this race. But before we get to that finish, we're going to take a look at a replay to see what brought the caution out for the third time today here at Talladega. Well, here's a look at what happened. They were trying to go four wide, but there wasn't too much room. And Ian Dutta actually comes down, tries to get in front of Jordan Culp, just not enough room. And then they come back up and collect the 33 and the 13. And look at Dutta. He's on his side and on top of the 13. Mm -hmm. And actually, it drives over him, and he actually drives yeah. away from that accident scene. That's oh, man, cool. look at this. Kyle Matthews, Zachary Fitzwater just on each other's doors. But they keep off of each other and somehow keep going. But not as bad of a wreck as we have had in the last two cautions. But it still takes out a couple cars. It's a race-changing race wreck because, like we said with P.J. Williams earlier, you know he was out of his race. He was pretty much done. And now all of a sudden he has a chance of probably winning this race now. Yeah, Same that was thing. a saving grace for the 27, but yeah, let's take you to yeah. what is going to be our final restart of the Aaron's 499 here at Talladega. Well, what do you know? When we go green, it's going to be a green-white checkered, so it's going to be two laps to go. The next flag will be the green flag after that, the white, and the next flag after that, either yellow or checkered. But if a caution comes out during these final two laps, the race will be over. And after that last caution, no cars retired. Actually, all four of those cars involved in that last caution are still on track. But sadly, they won't be up to speed. But they will be able to finish off this race. But Rue McIntyre is your leader. Second is Alex Pedro. 
Third is Nick Pericles. Fourth is Michael Norman. Fifth is Cassandra Renzi. Sixth is Henrietta Fitzwater. Seventh is Jesse Setti. Eighth is Jekko Knight. Jekko still is in this. Ninth, <laughs> ninth is Dylan Thero. Tenth is Ryan Anderson Jr. Eleventh is Zachary Fitzwater. Twelfth is Kyle Matthews. Thirteenth is Trent Dunham. Fourteenth, Jordan Culp. Fifteenth, Ian Dutta. Sixteenth, Gabe Williams. Seventeenth, Alex Hawkins. Eighteenth, P.J. Williams. And nineteenth is Sonny Hammond. Now, if P.J. Williams doesn't manage to get around these these slower cars fast enough, he might not be able to win. But if he can get through them quick enough, there is still a chance. But he's going to have to put the pedal to the metal and go because he doesn't have much time. Only two laps of racing. But here we go. Actually, I went a lap too soon. Me and my stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> so while we're still waiting to go green, let's do a little discussion. So now that we are down to the 19 cars, PJ Williams got some damage mm -hmm. from one of the recent cautions, but came down pit road, but had a timely caution, but he is stuck between not up to speed cars. And Jekko Knight who somehow is still up to speed after getting into that huge wreck, and he's up here in the top ten, has your picks changed, or are they still the same? You know me. I'm, I, I believe that my guy's going to win. I picked him up. <laughs> he's been hungry this whole series. So you know what, man? i I got to give him the win here. It's a tough track to win Talladega, but Jekyll Knight, he, he's proving how tough he is. And what about you, David? Well, it has some more change. I'm still going with my main pick, but now I'm starting to see that Jekyll Knight still doesn't have that chance, so you never know. I'm going to go with uh, one of the drivers who's in the top five, and that is in fifth place, Cassandra Renzi. She has done a great job so far this season as a rookie, and she is second in points. And here we go. Green flag is out. Two to go here at Talladega. Almost home. Rue McIntyre still up to the lead as everybody's trying to find a line to try to get going. I see Jekko Knight lost a spot, but that's because he's trying to find a line to run. And I think he found one. Now he gets left out to dry by Zachary Fitzwater. But Rue McIntyre still maintaining a marginable lead. Actually, this is the final lap, actually. This is the last <laughs> lap. Oh, man. This is the last lap, and Rue McIntyre is the leader. I thought it was two to go, but because of my stupidity, it's the last <laughs> lap. Oh, but Rue McIntyre's coming into pit road. Oh, really? So is Good Renzi. Why would you do that? He must not have had enough fuel in Alex Pedro. He is oh, going to get his second that. win of the season. What He's going to win at Talladega. What a dramatic turn of events. Wow. Wow. That man. is that is Just a like heartbreak. That, in a split second. that was heartbreaking for both the 28 wow. and the 4. They I must mean, not have had enough fuel in their cars and they couldn't keep going, but mm -hmm. man, if the 28 didn't have didn't if the 28 stayed out, he could have won. No but man, the <laughs> man Rue McIntyre is going to be mad at himself. Mm. Another win Stop. got away from him. But congratulations to Alex Pedro. He gets his second win in three races. He won at Thornton two weeks ago. Didn't have that great of a run last week at Texas. This week, somehow, some way, thanks to the 28 having to come down pit road on the last lap, Alex Pedro gets his second win of the season. Wow. But the rest of the results, Michael Norman comes away with second following up his Win at the Daytona 500. Solid second place finish. Nick Pericles, the highest finishing rookie, comes away with third. Solid finish for him. Ryan Anderson Jr., one of the three cars who was involved in the first accident. He comes away with a fourth place finish. Great comeback for the 51. And rounding out the top five was Henrietta Fitzwater. And right behind her is her husband, Zachary Fitzwater. In six, so great run for the Fitzwaters. 
Jesse said he comes away with seventh. Dylan Thero in eighth. Jekko Knight, even though he didn't win, he still got a great finish. This could move him up a lot higher up into the point standings. And rounding out the top ten was Kyle Matthews. The rest of the cars that finished on the lead lap were Sonny Hammond, Jordan Culp, P.J. Williams, Trent Dunham, Gabe Williams, Ian Dutta, and a t heartbreaker for Rue McIntyre. Had yeah, this race sad. and had to come down pit road on the last lap and didn't win. And Cassandra Renzi in 18th, she won't get the points lead, but she is going to gain ground on Chris Washer. And then the last card I finished on the lead lap was Alex Hawkins. And then everybody else from 20th on back were out of the race. Charles Jackson, Ken Thero, Seth Cole, Dylan Young, Anthony McCurry, <coughs> Larry Hagan, uh, Jessica Sheldon, Justin Talampas, Chris Washer, Ian Siegel, Cody Hagan, Matt McIntyre, Brandon Nichols, Jesse King, Kendall Maynard, Cody Lamas, Chase Oliver, David Rivera, Michael Walden, Eric Burden, Austin Weiner, Biggie Spencer, and Eric Enrage. But congratulations to Alex Pedro. If he can stay on track and get a little better every week, he could get into the chase as a wild card driver since he has two wins now. Only he and Chris Washer this season have won multiple races, which is an interesting uh, thing there. But the next race we are going to be running, which we will be back to commentate in just a moment, the next race we run is going to be an exciting mile-and-a-half race at the famed Kentucky Speedway, which is my closest racetrack to my area. So that's going to be interesting. But ladies and gentlemen, we're signing off for this race. We'll be back for Kentucky, but here are your results, rookie points and regular points. But I'm Levi McIntyre along with David Rivera and Chase Oliver saying we'll see you at Kentucky. You love it. If you got it in your heart, then go ahead and do it. If you have a gift, then please go ahead and use it. Cause I was feeling stupid while trying to do music. Thinking that they had no voice and that I was useless. But as I write this down, I can see what I mean. Nobody ever will stop me from achieving my dreams.